everyone, and welcome to another edition of the NWA Wrestling Showcase. Don Kennelly and Jeff Resnick here to call all the action, and we're going to open things off with oh, no right. chocolate, Willie Mack. I'll tell you what, Todd, every time I see this guy, I am amazed by the agility that he has in that way. Well-balanced competitor, he's got strength, he's got the stars, agility, as you mentioned, for a man his size, and boy, he's going to need all of that tonight. From San Diego, California, with 247 pounds, Strapfire Adam Pierce. And here he comes, Todd. Adam Pierce, arguably the uncrowned NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. Look at that greatness! Do it big, do it Yeah, but what I don't understand, fans, you'll remember at the end of last week's program, Adam Pierce exposed in more ways than one the fact that he did not want his title shot, which he earned by defeating Brent Albright in Tyler, Texas. He doesn't want his, uh, his title match there. And I gotta say that he's coming off pretty cowardly in, 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 my, uh, in my mind, Jeff. Well, you know, I look at it this way, Todd. You know, Adam Pierce is smart and calculated and a big He doesn't want to fight Blue Demon in what he needs as North Mexico. And, you know, by the way, last week, I kind of thought that was pretty uncalled for. Brent Albright, Blue Demon. I felt like we were watching a handicapped tuxedo match last week. Right? I'm not really sure what to think of the current title situation. Is Adam Pierce still the number one contender? I don't know where he is, but fans, we've been informed that Blue Demon Jr. has a scheduled title defense in Tyler, Texas, and he will be defending his championship opponent to be named in the not so distant future. But yeah, you gotta wonder how that will if somebody is to defeat Blue Demon at NWA Strike and Gold, where would that leave Adam Pierce? It'll be interesting to see how this whole thing plays out. Big chop there, and Pierce has him in the corner right where he likes his opponent. You know, moments ago, Pierce struck that pose in the middle of the ring. Interestingly enough, I think he has a pose right now. Todd, like I said, Adam Pierce is a calculating individual. He's going to make his move. He makes it. Oh, wow. Adam Pierce got some freaking flyer miles on that one. Willie Mack turned him inside out. He took nothing away. There you see that agility, the height on the big leg jump. Willie Mack going for the cover. Here's the count of two. Willie Mack really aggressive here. With the going and Jeff is Adam Pierce focused on his opponent. Well, you know, Adam Pierce definitely has a lot of things going on in his mind, but you know, when Adam Pierce gets in that ring, he's got one thing in mind, and that's winning. That's attaining victory here in the ring. Look at this that. Ooh, look at that big splash in the corner. But you know what? Pierce may be unlikable, but you have to respect his tenacity. Willie Mack going for the cover. You've got to respect that as well. Willie Mack has really been on the offensive here against the former world champion, making a fine showing of himself in this matchup thus far, reversal by Pierce, and the man pile trips up really now on the other side. Pierce answers there with a nice short drop kick. That is the X factor of Vanderpile on the outside. Well, it is, you know, when you're taking on Adam Pierce, you gotta know Vanderpile's on the outside of the ring. And you know, that's part of the strategy, that's part of the strategy, the strategy of that is the wrestling. Vanderpile reached for him, leg in his time, and he reached for there. Willie Mack, and now a blatant choke on the outside. Adam Pierce had the referee distracted. And you want to talk about a handicap tuxedo match. This is turning into a handicap match here this week with Vanderpile and Pierce. I'll tell you what, Todd, speaking of X Factor, I think we might have a uh, triple XL factor in the form of C. Edward Vanderpile on the outside, actually. Uh, who wrote that one for you? Vanderpile now in the driver's seat. The pendulum of momentum has switched back to the side of the former champion, former two-time NWA World Heavyweight Title. Look at that, Pierce fighting, fighting with a knock in the corner, doing whatever it takes to attain victory. Absolutely no call for that. Not acting like a champion. Adam Pierce taking a bite out of milk chocolate, Willie Mack. And Willie Mack is sending the opposite oh, corner. Pierce go. coming at him, charges and misses. Willie Mack steps out of the way, and look at this. Oh, what a T-bone slam that was. Yeah. Willie Mack now is rather greater than that. Beautiful T-bone so much, and again, out of the cover. And Adam Pierce, you know, he's been posing, he's been turning his back, he's been wasting some time. I like what I'm seeing out of Willie Mack. He's a big vertical suplex. 
They're right after a movie goes right into the cover. Hooks the leg, looking for the pin here. No, how close was that? That would have been a tremendous upset when really Mack took him down Adam Pierce. Like, talk about ramifications in the rankings. If you really Mack take him down the contender, imagine when that would really Mack in contender for the title. Certainly would turn a lot of heads, and that's what the showcase is all about. And look out here, the, I'm checking the Doppler radar. It says there's a chance of showers because it could be the chocolate rain, but nobody home. What a maneuver by Willie Mack. You got it, you got it right where you want it. You got it, man. Adam Pierce looking to capitalize on that mistake, and it looks as if he's going to do that. Yes, he spikes him with the pile driver. Pierce goes for the cover and picks up the win. Big victory by Adam Pierce right here, showing why he is the number one contender for the title, showing why he says he is the uncrowned NWA World's champion. Willie Mack with a great effort there, but in the end, the chocolate rain, but there was a drought in the center of the ring. Adam Pierce picks up the win. And now, oh, this is absolutely disgusting. Snot rocket on his opponent, please. Well, Adam Pierce loves to intimidate his opponents, and he's doing just that right there. You gotta think, is Blue Jr. intimidated? Is he afraid of Adam Pierce? Adam Pierce sporting the silver singlet, but will he have gold around his waist once again? It's not gonna happen in Tyler, Texas.